that we, we hear a lot about the renovation of our New Boston plant, which is a lie. It's not a renovation. As I'm reading it and everything, it is actually building a new plant with state-of-the-art for right. 20, approximately $25 million. And with that, and the millwood, we can provide water, adequate water to uh, Red River Army Depot. And that's why, that's the reason it's perceived that we're, as I understand, that according to the paper, when I read the paper, what River Bend wants is to do that. Do that. So, so yeah. now, getting back to you being the expert on water, and, and certainly you got my two, got your, you've got a couple of engineers out here that, that uh, if, they, if they want to interject, would that be a sound, prudent position to take that we want to move, spend $55 million <laughs> to put a plant at Red River or spend $25 million to put one at New Boston, and both of them are going to do, be doing basically the same thing? Would that be a sound decision with taxpayers' money? There, there's no, I'm, in, I'm in possession of no facts that would uh, cause me to think that was a sound decision. And nobody's provided you those facts? No, sir. Okay, and I don't think, I, don't, I know I haven't been provided. And, uh, uh, one other thing I want to touch, and I'm gonna, I know that I'm dominating right now, but I'm going to ask what? You have my five minutes. You have my five minutes. No, I, 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 I'm talking. Uh, we've been recently, in the uh, newspaper that the Texas County of Texas is changing their charter. And once again, I want it publicly stated, I, you know, what they do on their charter is fine. But my concern is, is reading in the paper that they're changing one significant change, or there's two or three that's going to, I think it's going to affect Texas County of Arkansas. And I just want a clarification and I'd like your opinion, and I know it's your opinion, that if that charter is uh, approved as it is concerning the uh, method that they use to do away or change utility companies. Now that's, I'm going to say it the nice way. Uh, wh what do you think that effect could be on TWU and the continuality of TWU and Texas State Arkansas and Texas County Texas working together jointly with a water treatment, a water uh, treatment company? Well, certainly, I, I don't know what their intent is, but it would seem to position them so that they could easily get rid of their water treatment function, uh, which would vastly change the relationship between the two cities uh, the, uh, and the divesting themselves of the water treatment function has been a goal of Texas County, Texas, that has been stated to me specifically. So it would seem to position them to do that, to change the form and function of the utility rather drastically with, with that one thing. When you say divest, that means that they're, they're, going, of, they're going to get out of it, which means TWU will be out of it. That is correct. That means that an entity uh, entitled right now, as I understand it, and then the title may change, uh, Riverbend would be doing it. Okay. That's and, my understanding. And with that, uh, could River Bend uh, choose to charge whatever they wanted to for water? That sounds like a legal question to me. I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, I, mean, I, I do believe that River Bend has some authority to set to set rates and everything. How that impacts the the contracts between the two cities, I'm, that's way out of my well. Age. But okay, with that, uh, I don't think we don't have a contract with River Bend. No, sir. And we do have a contract with Texas. Texas. Yes, sir. And uh, if they divest themselves of uh, the water rights, then uh, we're just kind of out there at somebody's mercy. It, it would be difficult for Texas County of Texas to fulfill its obligation under the contract is my non-legal understanding. Yeah, that's good. No, and I appreciate that. I know that, that you're, not legal, you're, you're not a legal expert, legal expertise, or, and, uh, but I'm asking for your expertise yes, in water treatment. And knowing what uh, of how TWU operates and how we operate, you've been around, around here a lot longer than I have on TWU and Texas County Arkansas and Texas County Texas. How we operate and how uh, that would affect if Texas County Texas could divest themselves of the water treatment and give it to or allow it to be managed and controlled by Riverbend and Texas County Arkansas could be hurting. Unless 
we may not be able to provide the water to anyone other than Texarkana, Texas, since we don't have a contract with Riverbend, do we? No, we do not, sir. Yeah. And that would cost us a little bit to, to, to do that. But it is conceivable if we decided if, if it was well within our desire. Yes, sir. I mean, it's not the certainly not the most pleasant, but uh, you know, something that we have to look at realities. And, and it appears that Riverbend has looked at the reality that they are going to uh, build a plant. Like if they ever find an engineer that they can pay adequate money for to make the recommendation that they need a water treatment plant at uh, Red River, we have not. Excuse me, ma'am. Go we ahead. have not been asked to pay for those subsequent studies, have we? No, we have not. Oh, good. Yeah, no, the, but uh, it's my understanding, isn't it, that those uh, are, they, they are being paid by the Texas side. By and large, yes. Uh, are the river now, now, paid for? now the, the smaller cities are paying dues to River yeah. Bend, and so they yeah. may very well be participating in that. But since we ignored, I don't have access to that information. Since we ignored the original study, I think somebody owes me $142,193.21. Okay. I'm just, I don't know, I'm not a businessman, but somebody, somebody uh, does that to me, I think they owe me some money. And, uh, the street department has already asked for it. You know, we, may, we, may, we may be asking Ned to earn his money. Okay. But, uh, get back to, uh, there's another area of, that, of a concern that I have in the charter. And once again, I'm not getting into Texas charter, however they want to do their charter, that's fine. But one thing I am concerned about is they're changing up a little bit on the billing and financing. And how's that going to affect the billing of, of uh, TWU? How would that affect you, and, or TWU and Texas and Arkansas in any way, based upon your professional opinion as a water Once treatment. again, I can't read what their intent is, no, Mayor. Want but it would certainly poise them to, to vastly change how the financial things were handled through the Texas side. And it's gonna be very, very difficult to manage something as closely knit and Siamese twins, uh, I think I described it as, as Siamese twins that share a, a, a liver and a stomach. It's, 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 it's not just a, a minor put together and if you start doing the finances over here and the finances over here, it's a, it's a it's very, very difficult, much more cumbersome. And the more you split the two over the years has been such a economic boon to the two cities, the more costly it will be for both cities, we need in a, my opinion. Okay. We need a heart transplant. The liver and the stomach's not here. here. I will now, right now, relinquish some of my time. I might have a couple more questions, but I'll up for any of the board directors that may want to question their comments. No, no. Uh, I, guess, I guess one other tidbit here that I have is, is that uh, we did go into a contract with uh, uh, Southwest Water, Arkansas Water District. Yes, sir. And I've heard someone has said that Southwest Arkansas Water District doesn't mind us providing water, untold, unamounted water to Texas County, Texas and the cities and the entities beyond. Uh, but now my understanding is, is that the, uh, the contract that we have is, is that the city, which is us, Texas County, Arkansas, shall not provide treated water to any user outside Miller County, Arkansas, or the city of Texas County, Texas without the written approval of the district. So uh, for us to be prudent, we probably need to look at ways of, of ensuring that no Millwood water other than that that's going to Texas County, Texas goes anywhere else. Now, it is my understanding that you can calculate based upon the water that's being pumped out of Wright Patman and treated at New Boston plant, you can try to calculate that out. And anything that you used above that can only, if it comes out of Millwood, can only go to Texas County, Arkansas, Texas County, Texas. 
And you're, you're, you are capable of doing that, as, as I understand. Is that correct? With, with great difficulty, we can come close to those kinds okay. of abilities. Okay, we now understand it's, it's difficult, but it's, you know what, we're, we are at a difficult situation uh, here because uh, uh, it seems that uh, River Bend has been, is, is now controlling what happens in Arkansas with our water. And, and it bothers me considerably. And, uh, and I just want to make sure that, that I'm not an expert. I didn't know anything about water on January 1st, 2011. But uh, I'm getting to know a little bit about the, the uh, uh, contracts and the entities of it. But you I depend upon as providing, providing us expertise. And I got one final question. Have you ever lied to this board about anything concerning TWU? Certainly not knowingly, Mayor. Yeah, that's, that's, and you know what? And I agree with that. I don't think you have. And, uh, and let, so I have to ask the question again. Have you ever lied to any other entity about the operation of TWU? Certainly not knowingly, Mayor. Right. All right. I don't, uh, I, I want to say one yeah, thing yeah, because please. it was just, in, in ending what you said there, I wanted to give a kudu, not to, to Southwest Arkansas Water uh, District. They have always been very kind and very flexible in allowing short-term emergency use of millwork water like we're going through right now, like we went through in the ice storm. They've already been, always been very cooperative. But what if the, uh, what's the, Long what term. does that include of New Boston? Is it, is it possible that New Boston could, could crash within the next two years? It, it certainly could undergo some things that might make it go down from, from two weeks to two or three months. Some of, the, some of the equipment in there is quite aged, taking lightning strikes and some of the service pumps or the raw water pumps. If we, if we pursue, right now we start today, well we can't today, but say next uh, May the 16th we get a resolution on our, uh, present to the board that we pursue uh, the next step in the uh, HDR recommendation. How long is it going to take us to get a plan? Three years. Three years. So uh, at least at least three three years. So if we, uh, you guys agree with that? Now? Is that? And that that's if we build it on New Boston Road. If you build it somewhere else, you got more transmission lines. You're probably looking at two more right. years. Correct. And it is possible to put it on a fast track that might cut six months, eight okay. months off of that time schedule. If it, as as Director uh, John said, if it were relocated. That would be probably about three times more, more as far as the years to completion. It if you had to add a raw water line to it, it, it would probably take considerably longer yes. because you, you've got a lot of, uh, you've got to get easements to put a line in, right. and those kind of things take time. They typically add construction time. And to build one at Red River Army Depot, you'd have to have a raw water line. Yes, sir. You can't pick it up with a helicopter and drop it on the bucket. No, sir. Okay, I'm not sure. Any other questions, comments? Mr. King, I, I appreciate it. I know that uh, you, you had short notice uh, of this presentation, but I felt it was, was needed for the Texas Arkansas citizens. And that's who I feel that we have an obligation to, that the Arkansas citizens are very much cognizant of the effects of some of the, something's going on in other areas of our community. So uh, thank you very much.